My name is Jonathan Elliott. We're from Mansfield, Missouri, and came up to visit my son at Masters Baptist College. We brought a song with us called If You Tell Two People. If you tell two people, and I tell two people, then four more people will go. They tell two people, and we tell two people, and more and more people will know. God gave us His Son, He died for each one, but not all have heard the good news. So you tell two people, and I tell two people, and God. kids, today we're going to be singing This Little Light of Mine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hello boys and girls, uh, my name is Miss Sherry and I have been at Fargo Baptist Church for a little over 10 years. I, um, when I first started coming, I learned actually that there is a different proverb for each day. Uh, since there are 31 proverbs, you can read one proverb of the day. And so that is how I started kind of seeking the Lord was reading a proverb of the day. So the proverbs are very, very, very special to me. And I still like to read the proverb of the day. Lots of wisdom uh, comes from the proverbs. So that's what we're going to share with you today is from Proverbs chapter one, verses 20 through 23. And I'll read those for you now. Um, wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. So today I'm going to talk to you about, are you crying? Okay, so... Crying, is it fun? Do we ever enjoy crying? I know uh, guys probably don't, but for us women, sometimes we do. That's why we watch sad emotional movies. We like to cry. But um, really, uh, usually, crying is something that's done when you feel pain or you're hurt or uh, something sad has happened. Uh, normally, it, it isn't fun. So, um, it's not something we try to do on purpose, usually, right? Uh, this kind of crying, though, that we're talking about here, 
uh, wisdom crying in the streets, it doesn't mean crying like we think of crying. It's more like a shouting, like to make known, to get people's attention, that kind of crying. Um, uh, so I'm gonna, so that's crying. Now we're gonna talk about wisdom. Wisdom, uh, what is it? You ever sit and think what wisdom is? So if wisdom is crying, what is wisdom? So the definition of wisdom that we think of is uh, usually in the Proverbs, it'll contrast it to foolishness. So the opposite of foolishness would be wisdom. So uh, maybe smart versus dumb, or maybe the truth versus a lie. A lot of times Proverbs will contrast things to prove a point so you can know um, the context of it a little better. Um, the definition of wisdom actually is the right use or exercise of knowledge. So if you have knowledge, wisdom isn't just having that knowledge, it's how to use that knowledge. And so, um, so here's wisdom who knows uh, the truth. Wisdom knows how to use the knowledge that it has, and it's going out trying to tell people what it knows, uh, how to have this knowledge and use it the right way. Um, uh, so where is wisdom? So that is wisdom. Where is wisdom in this context? Uh, it was talking about, uh, according to the Proverbs, it is seeking out to others, begging them to listen. Please listen. It is in the streets. It is in the chief place of concourse. So what that means is a gathering place of people. Uh, it is in the openings of the gates where people come and go. Uh, a lot of times cities would have a, a giant gate that people would have to walk in and out of to get into the city because there was a wall all the way around. And inside the city were many marketplaces and buildings. And so a lot of times the city had lots of people. And so they would enter in at the gates. So wisdom is at the gates. It's there as they're coming in and out, coming and going, in and out, and in the city, and crying out to these people, please listen, please listen. I have a message for you that, will, that you need to hear. Are you going to listen or are you going to continue to go the wrong way? And, and um, so that's how wisdom is crying. Um, so what is wisdom saying as, as it's crying? It's saying, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge. People around her just keep going the wrong way. They aren't listening to her. She's pleading with people to please listen to the truth, yet they continue to reject it. They continue to love the things that they're doing or stay focused in their own lives or be so busy that they don't realize how wisdom is crying unto them. They might even look at wisdom as being foolish or ridiculous, standing out. Um, they might laugh at wisdom, they might mock wisdom, and yet they're the ones heading the wrong way. And so um, they're not listening to her. She's pleading with the people to listen to the truth, but they keep rejecting it. Wisdom says, turn you at my reproof. Okay, so what is reproof? That's not a word we hear too much today, especially teenagers probably don't hear the word reproof. And um, what that means is to turn uh, from the direction that you're going to maybe be corrected. So if uh, my son were walking into the street of traffic, I might correct him. I might tell him, That's, don't go that way, a car's coming, or something like that. That would be a reproof. Um, you want to get them on the right track. Uh, millions are trusting in the wrong things to get to heaven today. They are going the wrong way. They are trusting in what they're doing, their good works. They are trusting in trying to look good for God. And they mean well, but they aren't well. And so many people are trusting in the fact that they're not uncomfortable. They have all the money they need. They have all the video games they could play. They have all the friends they could want. Life is going really good. Why would they need to change? And the truth is, there is something coming. They are headed for a destruction that they don't know is there. And wisdom is trying to tell them that they're going the wrong way, but they don't see it. But they would be wise to listen to wisdom. So, uh, uh, so they don't want to turn, but maybe some people are curious. Maybe they want to know. And so they choose to learn a little bit more about how to go the right way. And, 
and so they'll listen to wisdom and choose the right way, but, but in this context, what wisdom is talking about is nobody's listening. She's wondering, why? Why won't you listen to this message? So uh, she continues to say, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make my words known unto you. So a lot of people might reject wisdom. They might not completely understand what wisdom is saying. And so uh, what wisdom tries to do is, is let them know, don't worry. I will guide you. I will teach you along the way. I will make my way known unto you as you go along. When I first uh, got saved, I didn't really know a lot about Jesus. I didn't really know a lot about living a Christian life. I didn't really know uh, what the Bible had to say about things. And I learn as I go. The Lord has been so kind to guide me and direct me as I go that that I don't have to worry about that part. I just put my trust in Jesus Christ and he saved me and he continues to correct me along the way and make his spirit known unto me. He is the wisdom that wisdom is crying about. He is the only way to truth. He's, he is the truth. And so wisdom is trying to tell these people that are going the wrong way to turn to Jesus, turn to the truth, turn to what will uh, the door that leads you into heaven and these people don't want it. They want this world right here, right now. That's what they want. They want to touch what they can see and feel and all of that, but it's worthless. And so hopefully uh, they will turn at wisdom's reproof and choose to seek the Lord, choose to follow Jesus. And so, um, so uh, wisdom is saying, I will pour my spirit unto you. I will make my words known unto you. Choose wisdom and the rest will follow. Uh, change to go toward the right direction and wisdom will teach you along the way uh, are we crying so once we've turned to wisdom and once we've accepted Christ as our Savior and we're heading in the right direction what are we doing with that are we um, following the leading are we once we've turned to truth and following the leading of the Holy Spirit uh, wisdom uses us to cry to the lost and dying world around us but are we are we crying are we talking? Are we even whispering? Are we even suggesting, hey, go in the wrong way, come this way? Are we even doing that for people? Are we just watching the world? Do you ever see those videos where things are zooming back and forth, cars going everywhere, and the world is just changing, just people to and fro all the time and ever wonder, do they know the Lord? Do they know the Lord? Do they know they're going the wrong way? Do they know they need Jesus? What are we doing about that? Are we sacrificing our time to maybe pass a track to somebody at the gas station? Uh, as, a, as, a, as a teenager, you're probably a teenager. Are you telling your friends? Are you letting them know that you love the Lord? Are you letting them know that the Lord has changed your life? Are you letting them know that they are going the wrong way, even if they might laugh at you? even if they might scorn at you, even if they reject what you're saying. What does, what does loving the Lord mean to you? What has the Lord done for you? Knowing that they're heading the wrong way, will you tell them the truth? Will you have that courage? Will you be like wisdom in this context of Proverbs and tell them you're going the wrong way? Choose righteousness. Choose the Lord Jesus. Uh, make it clear unto them that they that they need to change their direction. That's repenting. They need to change their direction. Whatever they're believing in, they shouldn't. Uh, it's it's not leading them to a place that's good. So maybe if they knew about Jesus and His way of being saved, if they were to know that they could put their trust in Him and head towards heaven, maybe they would. And they just need somebody to tell them about it. So that's what, what uh, wisdom is crying in the streets. Uh, Although it's uncomfortable, although they look silly, especially in today's world, I know I look ridiculous going the doors, knocking, but you know what? I care much more about what's ha going to happen to those people after this world is over. That's why I want to go. Another reason I want to go and tell people about Jesus, another reason why I want to do this video, even though I'm so nervous, uh, the reason why I want to do this video is because I want you to know that Jesus is the only way, and he changed my life. I want to know that he'll change your life too. And so if you haven't put your trust in Jesus Christ, please seek him. Learn how to do that. Find somebody to do a Bible study. 
do a Bible study, ask your parents, uh, continue watching these videos, and uh, maybe someday you won't be the person that wisdom is crying unto, asking, how long will you love simplicity? No longer will they have to beg you to please turn uh, to the right way because you'll have listened and you will be the one crying unto the lost and dying world. Wouldn't that be awesome? So uh, thank you for your uh, listening today. Uh, thank you for uh, this message from the Lord. I love the book of Proverbs. Please uh, read a proverb every, every day. So if it's the first of the month, you read the first proverb. If it's the second of the month, you read the second proverb. If it's the 15th of the month, you read the 15th proverb. It's really uh, life-changing. So I encourage you to do that. I'm uh, glad you were able to watch today. I hope you enjoy. Have a really wonderful, happy Sunday. And don't forget, Jesus loves you. refreshing sent from the Savior above showers of blessing showers of blessing we need mercy drops round us are falling but for the showers we plead there shall be showers of blessing precious reviving again over the hills Abundance of rain, showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling.